You want to have yes. a word? Yes. Right. Manji. Mr. Chairman, sir, I want to bring to the notice of this August House that since 1947, there are 30,000 Sikhs who are refugees in Jammu and Kashmir. They came from Pakistan's Kashmir and they have still not got their citizenship and they are stateless people who do not have voting rights, they do not have the ration cards and they cannot own property in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Secondly, sir, the Indian government repeatedly has not signed the United Nations Convention on the Status of Refugees, which I seek that the government of India sign this convention. Thirdly, there are still Tibetan refugees in India, and I do not think that there is need to repeal this act. This act should be kept on the statute books till all refugee problems are solved in this country and the Sikhs who are still stateless, they be given their Indian citizenship and their case in Kashmir should be looked into. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sri Simranjit Ma Singh Man. Madam Chairperson, I thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak on a resolution of Mr. Parlad Singh Patel asking for the ban on cow slaughter. My party and I, the Shromni Akali Dal, strongly support this resolution because we feel that the majority sentiment of this country should not be offended by slaughtering the cows. This principle is also enforced in the directive principles of state policy and I would appeal to the government of India to bring in strong legislation for the ban of cow slaughter. Whereas I support the ban on cow slaughter, I would also like the government of India to include in this legislation the need for protection to the cows and how they are to be treated in a humane manner. I would recommend that the Gaushalas, which are all over the country, they should be bought under the purview of the MP lad schemes and the MPs in their respective jurisdictions should be held responsible for the proper upkeep of the Gaushalas and extra funds should also be allocated to the MPs to see that the Gaushalas are run efficiently and with enough finances. Whereas I support a bill against the slaughter of cows, I also want the government of India to bring in stringent legislation on the pattern of quota against the slaughter of minorities in India. And I would like the government of India to recognize 
the United Nations Treaty Against Genocide and to bring in strong legislation against genocide and the protection of the monuments of the minorities, the Christians, the Buddhists, the Sikhs, and the Muslims. India must become a humane society and every aspect of the religious sentiments of the Indians must be respected. I must remind this house that during the period of the Sikh Empire of Maharaja Ranjit Singh from 1799 to 1846, capital punishment was banned, but capital punishment was given for the crime of cow slaughter. And this empire extended from Peshawar to the river Satluj, included Jammu and Kashmir, Leh and Ladakh. So I think in a secular society, we must also honor the sentiments of the majority. And this is not secularism if the sentiments of the majority are not respected. And I, while fully supporting this resolution, hope that the government of India will bring in both these legislations against the slaughter of cows and the slaughter of minorities